today in this video i'll show you how you can set up my sql server on your mac os so to get started head over to your google and search for download my sql community server and you can see this first result here dev.mysql.com slash download slash mysql open that up and you can see we'll be taken to this web page and what i actually need to do here is i need to scroll down here and you'll see there uh, we have two options here we have the arm 64 bit and we have the x86 64 bit so if you are on the apple chipset so for example you have m1 or m2 you will choose the first one and if you have the intel chips then uh, select the second one so i have the apple chipset i'm going to select the first one so i'll click download uh, here you can log in or sign up but i don't want to do that so let's click on no thanks and the download will start let it download because i have already downloaded it so i i just canceled it let me just open the file and let me open the package and you'll see this thing will pop up so let's allow it and we'll click on continue uh, this is the license agreement uh, we are going to click on continue and agree the license agreement and click on allow now here we'll choose the install for all users of this computer and click on continue and here you can change the installation location it's not necessary if you want let's click on install before we need to give our password so let me just do that now you can see it's installing and uh, here we have two options uh, we have to configure the mysql server so it's uh, giving us two options use strong password encryption or use legacy password encryption so we are going to use the strong password encryption and click on next now this is just a simple option uh, that will start mysql server once the installation is complete since we want to test this out i'm going to keep it checked but we also need to give a password to our root user so our default user uh, named root will be created so we'll set a password for that you need to remember this password and the username let's click on finish and again give the password now it's performing the initial database setup and it's done actually i'm going to click on close and I'm just going to keep the file. You can move it to bin, but I'm just going to keep it. What you need to do is I'll go to this Apple icon and click on system settings. If I scroll down, you can see that we now have a new option here, which says my SQL. If we click on it, you can see we have the SQL running here. So this is the SQL server that's running. Here we have an option to stop my SQL server. If I click on it, give my password. This is the Mac password, not the database password. We just stopped the SQL server. And if I click on start again, give the Mac password, you can see it is started again. We also have some configuration here. We have the base directory, the data directory, plugin directory. Uh, if you want to change them for some uh, use cases, you can go ahead and do that from here. Everything is clear from this side. Now that the server is running, what we, uh, we should be able to go to the terminal and say my SQL dash u which stands for user which was root and dash b hit enter i'm going to give my password this is the db password that we set hit enter and you can see let me make it a bit bigger you can see the sql is running now on my mac but if for some reason this step didn't work for you what you need to do is you need to cd into tilde actually it's cd not cs and here you will have a file named uh, .zshrc so uh, you can simply say open .zshrc hit enter and in here we need to add some things uh, if you don't see anything here don't worry uh, we are just going to add them so what you actually need to do is uh, you need to uh, you need to copy this line here uh, i'll leave this in the description box and you need to paste it right in here but uh, we need to change this part of the string so this is something that may change in your case and how to find this uh, i'm just going to show you that go to your spotlight and search for usr local and open the folder and in here you can see we have my sql and we have my sql 8.3.0 i'm going to select this and we need to grab the uh, path to this bin folder actually so i'm so i'm going to go here and say control click and copy bin as path name this will give me the full path uh, to this bin folder if somehow you don't see this option here what you can do is you can go here view and uh, you should see something like show path bar and you will have something like show path bar and you need to click here and it will display here then you can copy the path close this and now let's replace this part of the string till the colon with what we just copied so which is this thing 
the same thing for me, but it might change in your case. So yeah, just to be sure, let's save the file, close it, then we'll say source.zshrc, hit enter, and that's it. Now, if you say the same thing, mysql-u root-p, hit enter, give the db password, hit enter, you should hopefully also get mysql running in your terminal. Now, this is the SQL server. Now that means we should be able to run SQL queries here. So let's try. If I say show databases, hit enter, you can see it gives me a list of all the databases. Now let's try to create a database. So I can say create database, give it a name, let's say code pair, hit enter. And again, say show databases. Now you can see in the list of databases, we have code pair. And again, we can use this now, use code pair. Now you can see database changed and now we can create at any tables or do whatever SQL stuff we want to do with this. So yeah, this is how you set up a MySQL server on your Mac OS. I hope this thing worked for you. If it didn't, if you have any questions, you can absolutely comment down below. I'll try my best to help you out with all the questions. And yeah, if it did work for you, then you owe me a thumbs up and a subscribe. So please do that. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.